Hello, good morning, students and dear biotechnology aspiring students. Today, I would like to introduce you the importance of animal tissue culture and its application in college to community, laboratory to patients, with various translational aspects. Before I would like to go for introduction to the animal tissue culture, we would like to give you the brief idea about the Dr. Dior Patil Biotechnology and Bioinformatics Institute, that is a constant unit of Dr. Dior Patil Vidya Pit Pune. And this institute has a state of the art resources at the departmental level, including teaching laboratory for animal tissue culture, research laboratory for animal tissue culture. We have the centralized research facilities to help in the aspect of animal tissue culture, including central research facilities and advanced molecular diagnostic center, center for regenerative medicine. And all these physical facilities are supported with its sophisticated equipments like confocal microscope, flow, satometer, flow sense microscope, ultra deep freezer, and various other equipment. The most important aspect we have to understand as a student is the learning objectives of animal tissue culture. And these are the two main objectives. One is the basic knowledge, and the second is the translational aspect. In the basic knowledge, a student will have understanding on the scientific basis of animal tissue culture. And the second objective is to have the experiential and experimental learning of aseptic techniques used for animal tissue culture. And in the translational aspect, a student will have insights, understanding, learning on how the animal tissue culture is going to help in the translational and societal aspect where college level knowledge is going to be translated into the community benefits. And first I would like to give you a very brief idea on what is animal tissue culture. So the animal tissue culture essentially these are the combination of various techniques, specifically in vitro technique that allow the survival, maintenance and proliferation of cells tissues organ under favorable artificial and aseptic conditions. Definitely according to the nature of the cell, origin of the cell, the animal tissue culture can be classified as adherent to monolayer and suspension culture, and that is invertebrate culture media condition. Therefore, the cells, tissues, organ that is grown under animal tissue culture technique will help in both aspects, basic research, understanding and the translational value in biotechnology and pharmaceutical industry. And the first translational aspect I would like to introduce you that is the animal tissue culture gives the creative platform for the development of various antiviral vaccines, including the recent COVID-19 pandemic. And if you look at here, so the first step towards the development of any vaccine is the animal tissue culture grown cells are going to be work as a first raw material where the particular viruses are going to be grown and then they are going to be inactivate, inactivated by the subsequent steps during the vaccine development. The second important aspect is the screening and development of drugs by the pharmaceutical industry for the human mankind where the animal tissue culture in the form of first that is the already decade old technique 2D monolayer culture and the recent one that is 3D cell culture as well as the 4D cell culture are in place. And that is going to provide the first step towards the development of any drugs that is for the community and the society. The second important aspect of the application is the production of recombinant therapeutic protein. If you know insulin and many more therapeutic proteins are going to be developed by the help of animal tissue culture. The second important aspect is the, the animal tissue culture is the backbone of cancer and stem cell biology and various other human disease model where the cells those are grown by animal tissue culture either primary or continuous cell lines are going to work as a resource for a student faculty pharmaceutical industry and various biotechnology industry and if you look at here these are the cancer cell and stem cells are grown under the laboratory of our institute 
Another very important aspect nowadays is the use of animal tissue culture in food safety, environmental toxicity, pollution testing, and recently various biosensors are actually in place to help for the mankind and the society. And the last important aspect is the use of animal tissue culture for the gene therapy for incurable genetic diseases. And if you look at the model here, the, this particular human genetic disease model where the cells are going to be isolated cultured by the help of animal tissue culture and these grown cell is going to provide as the first step towards the testing of gene therapy as a treatment option and dear student based on these translational aspect of animal tissue culture it, it will give you a platform for future learning and application of biotechnology for the human mankind and society thank you very much for listening and best of luck for your future in biotechnology